Raiders made the state playoffs. They lost in the opening round, but they did make the playoffs. Buckeyes coming in in this game one and two. Nelsonville York really needing a victory tonight down here at River Valley. And of course the Buckeyes playing a tough schedule. The teams Nelsonville York has played through the first three weeks are eight and one on the season. The three teams that River Valley has played, and of course the Raiders are three and zero. Oh, they are one and eight combined record. And that, that makes a huge difference. Um, I, but the Buckeyes just had to kind of stay positive uh, with this game and, and go out and, and take control early um, and, and try to dominate from start to finish. River Valley making their way towards the field. And they have a tunnel set up for them by the cheerleaders and looks like the student body out there, some of the fans. They also have a, a nice crowd here for River Valley. Raiders wearing the black pants and black jerseys, black helmets and with silver trim. Last year, Nelsonville York, York lost to the Raiders at Dave Boston Field, 23 to 12. Two years ago, the Buckeyes came down here to River Valley High School and defeated the Raiders 28 to seven. Looks like the, the helmet there is gonna be Deflated there. And here come the Raiders of River Valley. We're about a minute away from kickoff here at River Valley High School. The all time series Nelsonville York has won seven and River Valley has won two. The Buckeyes have won seven of the last eight. But again, River Valley won last year's meeting at Boston Field at Nelsonville York High School. And I believe River Valley, they said in the paper that they, they graduated 17 seniors or 16 seniors. So um, of course they're, they're expecting big things this year. And this is a good test. This is a good test for them early in the season, so. Of course, this is the beginning of TVC play. Buckeyes starting the 2016 season in the Tri-Valley Conference. Nelsonville York has won more TVC titles than any other team in the league with 20. River Valley joined the league in 2014. And another little tidbit, Nelsonville York just one win away in the league from being the first team in the Tri-Valley Conference to win 200 league games. Right now the Buckeyes 199, 61 and three all time in the Tri-Valley Conference. Like to get that 200th one tonight and, and really get going well or have a good start in the TVC run. Behind them are the Trimble Tomcats. They've won 185 league games all time. Belpery in third with 168. Buckeyes will be receiving the opening kickoff. We're sitting on the Nelsonville York side of the field and the Buckeyes will be going from right to left on your radio dial. Raiders will kick it away. It looks like number 34, Colton Gilmore, is the kicker for the Raiders. And we're ready to go. Kick is away. Bryce Parker Lent. With the football for the Buckeyes, good return. A flag does come in, however, as Bryce Parker Lent takes it out to the Buckeye 35-yard line. Flag laying around the Buckeye 30. Buckeyes will have the ball first, first down and 10. Or looks like the Buckeyes will back up. Looks like an illegal block in the back on the Buckeyes. Still waiting for the official to mark off the penalty yardage and now he picks up the football and, and he'll mark it off from where the spot of the foul occurred. And the Buckeyes will start around their own 17 yard line. Looks like where they place it. So the Buckeyes get the ball first. This six seconds deep into this Nelson game. Buckeyes break huddle. Hunter Edwards at quarterback for Nelsonville York. Noah Andrews at fullback and Alex Mound at tailback. Buckeyes two receivers split out wide right. 
Hand off to Alex Mount. And Mount trying to get away. A short gain on the play for the Buckeyes. He'll take it out to about the 21, I believe. It's a pick up at four for Mount. They're going to spot it right on the 20, so a gain of about three. It brings up second and seven. Trey Craycraft on that tackle for the Raiders. He led the Raiders in tackles last week with seven. 11.22 to play in the first quarter. Second down and seven for the Buckeyes. On their own 20-yard line, Buckeyes out of the eye once again, a receiver on each side. Edwards back to pass on play action, throws, hits Noah Andrews out in the flat. He's got a first down for the Buckeyes as he crosses the 30 to the 32-yard line. It's a 12-yard reception for Noah Andrews. Jared McCarley on that stop for the Raiders, but again, not before Noah Andrews picks up the first down. Buckeyes break huddle, approach the line of scrimmage. First down and 10, Nelsonville, York on their own 32-yard line. Buckeyes, two receivers on the left. Handoff goes to Mount, and he's hit pretty quickly, trying to break away. And Mount will pick up about three yards, maybe two yards, to the 34 is where they're going to spot it. Second and eight for the Buckeyes. Good hard running, though, by Mount. He was hit immediately and kept he fighting. And nearly broke that tackle, uh, like we saw last week, him breaking a couple tackles there for a big run. 10-22 to play in the first quarter, no score. This is the initial drive of the game. Buckeyes second and eight on their own 34-yard line. Buckeyes out of the eye, two receivers on the left. Hunter Edwards under center, hands it off. Alex Mount has running room. Alex Mount's off to the races. He's at the 40, the 30 of River Valley, the 20. He's gone, touchdown Alex Mount. Sixty-six yard touchdown run for Alex Mount and the Buckeyes on the board first. That was a nice, nice gap there by the offensive line, and Alex hit it as hard as he could and he made something happen there. That was a great job by Alex Mount. Garrett Maiden will attempt a point after touchdown. And the kick is up and the kick is high and it is through. Extra point is good. Ten minutes to play in quarter number one. The Buckeyes jump out in front. 7-0. Garrett Maiden walking off his steps to kick this ball off to the Raiders. It's like Lane Fitch back deep for River Valley along with Patrick Brown. And Trey Craycraft. And the kick. And it's dropped by Lane Fitch, but now he picks it up at the 17, trying to get away. And the Buckeyes rounding him up, him up around the 22-yard line, and he'll go down, and it looks like they're going to spot it at the 23 on the forward progress. So that's where the Raiders will have their first possession. It will begin on their own 23-yard line. First down and 10 with the Buckeyes up 7-0, 9.51 to play in the first quarter. Just a beautiful night for high school football. Pretty warm earlier today, but the... Sun has gone down off in the distance. It's a good night for high school football, that's for sure. Patrick Brown, the quarterback for River Valley, and they like to throw the ball. They spread it out, three receivers on the left. Jacob Campbell, the running back, the lone back with him. Brown looking to pass. He throws on the left side, and it is caught by Lane Fitch. But Buckeye's in pretty good coverage there, but the Raiders are still going to have a nice gain on the play out to about the 29 yard line, a gain of six, it'll bring up second and four. Raiders right back to the line of scrimmage, splitting out three receivers on the right side. Again, Patrick Brown at quarterback, taking a direct snap about three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Back to pass, now rolling to the left and dives forward and see where they spot it. Looks like it will be third down for the Raiders, third down and about a yard to go. It's a pick of about three yards for Fitch. Raiders on their own 33 yard line. Now we have an official's timeout. Looks like the official looking it over to see if he got the first down or not. 
They say no, it is third down. Third down with about a half yard to go, it looks to be. On their own 33 yard line. Raiders at the line of scrimmage. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. He hands it off to the running back. The Buckeyes right there. I'm not sure he got it. See where they spot this. It looks like he's short of it. No gain on the play. It's a big fourth down for the Buckeyes. That was Jacob Campbell on the carry. And we have an official's timeout. It looks like, let's see if they are going to measure it. And it looks like they will. And maybe the coach, Jared Sparling, is just wanting to see exactly how much yardage they need to get if they'd elect to go for this. Chain gang coming out on the field here at River Valley. Buckeyes up 7 0, 846 to play in the first quarter. They pull the chain, and he's short by inches. So it is fourth down, and let's see if the Raiders elect to go for it. On one hand, they're deep in their own territory at the 33 yard line, but of course, on the other hand, they just have inches to go, but look, they are in putt formation. Fuck, guys, better watch here just in case. Looks like the Raiders will punt on fourth and inches on their own 33. They snap it. It's away, a low liner up the field. It bounces at the Buckeye 36. And the Buckeyes will let it roll, and the Raiders will down it right around the Buckeye 32-yard line. That's where Nelson New York will have their second possession, leading 7-0, 8.31 to play in the first quarter. Head coach for Nelson New York, Rusty Richards, in his first year. And for River Valley, Jared Spar Sparling in his sixth year. Of course, the first drive for the Buckeyes was a four play 83 yard drive. And there is a touchdown. flag down. I didn't notice that it was blocked by some of the players across the way, but there is a flag down around midfield. And the officials are sorting this out. Again, the Buckeyes lead 7-0, 8.31 to play in the first quarter here at River Valley. And now they're waving off the flag, so there was no flag on the play. And the Buckeyes will take over on their own, looks like around the 33-yard lines where they placed the ball. So the Buckeyes score in their first series of plays, put seven on the board, and the Buckeyes up 7-0 and have the ball first and 10. Defense holds the Raiders. Buckeyes out of the eye, two receivers on the left. Hunter Edwards under center at quarterback. Hand off Alex Mount, he comes this way with it. Alex Mount with some running room. Mount across the 40 of the Buckeyes. He crosses midfield across the 40 of River Valley. One man to beat, and he beats him. He's into the end zone, touchdown Buckeye. 68 yard run for Alex Mount. One lone Raider had the angle on him, but Alex Mount doing a little high stepping to avoid him. Looks like they might have a, a flag on the. Or maybe they said steps. he stepped out of bounds back at the 22 yard line. They've placed the ball right around the Raider 22 and they must have said he's stepped out of bounds when he avoided the Raider trying to make the tackle. A few moans from the Buckeye crowd now. Once they realize what has happened, Buckeyes up 7-0. Hand off Noah Andrews. And not much doing for Noah. Not a lot of running room for Andrews. Andrews it looks like he'll pick up a yard on the play. Maybe two. It will be a two-yard pickup. And the Buckeyes will have a second down and eight. Buckeyes on the 19-yard line of the Raiders. Again, the Buckeyes up 7-0. 7 7.54 to play in the first quarter. Clock is running. Buckeyes out of the eye. Hand off, no Andrews on the right side. Andrews running out of the tailback position. And he'll pick up about two more for the Buckeyes. It'll bring up third and six at the 17 of the Raiders. 
7.25 to play in the first quarter. The Buckeyes up 7 nothing, and Nelsonville York driving a third and six now at the 17 of the Raiders. Buckeyes break huddle and approach the line of scrimmage. Alex Mount back into the game at tailback. Noah Andrews at fullback. Hunter Edwards under center at quarterback. Two receivers on the left. And the handoff goes Alex Mount left side. And let's see where they spot it. Mount driving for that first down. And let's see where they spot it. It will be fourth down for Nelsonville York. It's a pickup about like three yards. Looks like it's going to be fourth and one for Nelsonville York. Fourth and one for the Buckeyes. Right around the 13 yard line it looks to be, or maybe the 14 of the Raiders. Buckeyes will go for it out of the eye. A receiver on the right. And whistles blow the play dead and they're gonna call legal procedure on Nelsonville York. So now instead of fourth and one, the Buckeyes will face a fourth and six. Buckeyes at the Raider, 18 yard line. It looks like Nelsonville York will attempt a field goal. Garrett Maiden out with the T. Be about a 34 yard attempt for Garrett Maiden. Good snap, the kick is up. And the kick is good, Garrett Maiden. Nice. Nice job by Garrett Maiden. 34 yard field goal is good and the Buckeyes take a 10 nothing lead, 5.59 to play first quarter. Garrett Maiden tees it up. He'll kick it away for Nelsonville York. Nice kick by Garrett Maiden. Gives the Buckeyes a 10 nothing lead. Garrett Maiden ready to kick it away to the Raiders. The approach in the kick. Nice kick by Garrett. Backs up the return man to the five yard line and that's Lane Fitch. Takes it to the middle of the field and he's gonna be hit and dropped. Right around the 24 yard line. That's where the Raiders will have their second possession of the game. 5.54 to play in the first quarter. And that was a really nice tackle in there by Garrett O'Neill. Buckeyes up 10-0 here at River Valley. Again, the Raiders coming in at 3-0. The Buckeyes 1-2. So the Raiders with their second possession. First down and 10. On their own 24, Patrick Brown at quarterback, taking a direct snap just about three yards behind the line of scrimmage, looking to throw. Throws on the left side. It is caught. And the receiver will take it out across the 30. Let's see where they spot that down at, maybe right at the 30, and they will put it on the 30-yard line. And that was a, that pass was caught by Jacob Dovenbarger. Six-yard pickup brings up second and four for the Raiders. Raiders on their own 30-yard line. Splitting out two receivers on the right, one on the left. Again, Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. He's looking to throw, throws, and it's caught. Buckeyes miss a tackle and miss another one. And now the receiver will go down at the Raider 42 yard line. That will be a River Valley first down. That was Trey, Trey Caffer, River Valley. Raiders right back to the line. Brown hands it off this time to Jacob Campbell. Nothing doing whatsoever. He's brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Jacob Campbell last week had 53 yards on 11 carries and two touchdowns for River Valley. Second down and 10 for the Raiders. River Valley on their own 42 yard line, 447 to play. In the first quarter, the Buckeyes up 10 nothing. Second and 10 for the Raiders, Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. Three receivers split out wide right, one to the left. Brown takes a snap, looking to throw. Throws on the left side and knocked away. Great. Good defense by Shaquem Williams. It was intended again by just to Jacob Dobben, Dobbenbarger. Right as the pass arrived, yeah, almost yeah. to the receiver. Williams knocks it away. It's incomplete. So it's third and 10 for the Raiders on their own 42-yard line. 
Buckeyes rotating a lot of people in here on defense. Raiders at the line of scrimmage, three receivers on the right, two on the left, and nobody in the backfield except Patrick Brown, the quarterback. He takes a snap, back to pass, being pressured, and the Buckeyes will sack him back at the 35-yard line. Loss of about seven. Number two, Levi Wickman with a sack. And number 44, Garrett O'Neill is helping him there. So the Raiders will punt it away on fourth down and 17. Back on their own 35 yard line. And the low snap, it bounces to the punter. He fields it cleanly, but it's a short high punt. Bounces at the Buckeye 47 and takes a Buckeye hop and down by the Raiders right around the 48 yard line of Nelsonville York. So the Buckeyes with nice field position, leading 10 0, 350 to play in the first quarter here at River Valley High School. Buckeyes are doing a really great job on, on defense, and it's hard. It's a fast paced offense, and to kind of keep the Buckeyes are keeping everyone rotating, keeping them fresh, and doing a good job here so far. Let's see if the Buckeye offense could keep things rolling. First down and 10 on their own 48, leading 10 0. The Buckeyes out of the eye. Hand off Alex Mount on the right side. Alex Mount on the move for the Buckeyes. He's at the 35. And a flag comes flying in from behind Alex Mount. Mount takes it all the way down to about the 27 yard line of the Raiders. But again, a flag is down and it looks like this one's coming back. Flag laying at the River Valley 47. And the penalty is against Nelson, New York. They'll spot it back at the Buckeye 45 yard line. It'll be first down and 13. I believe it was a block in the back was the call. So first and 13 for Nelson, New York on their own 45 yard line, 342 to play in the first quarter and the Buckeyes up 10 nothing. Nelsonville York at the line of scrimmage. Hunter Edwards will take the direct snap, five yards behind the line of scrimmage, a receiver on each side. He'll hand it off to Noah Andrews and he'll take it out close to the original line of scrimmage. He'll take it out, they'll spot it at the 47, so it'll be second and 11 for Nelsonville York. Clock running 322 to play in quarter number one here at River Valley High School. The Buckeyes up 10 0. Nelson Bill York with the football. Second and 11. Buckeyes on their own 47 yard line. Noah Andrews at fullback and Alex Mount dots the eye at tailback. A receiver on each side. Hunter looks to pass. He hits. Garrett Maiden out in the flat. Puts a nice move on a defensive back. And He'll take it to the River Valley 47 yard line and the Buckeyes are gonna have a third down and about four now. Picks up about seven yards. Third and four, Nelsonville York at the Raider 47. Buckeyes splitting out a receiver on each side, out of the eye. Hunter Edwards under center at quarterback. Third down and four at the Raider 47. Play action, Edwards back to pass. Now he throws and he hits the receiver. I believe that was Aaron Davis for the first down, down to the 35 yard line and a flag is down however in the Buckeye backfield and it looks like they're calling holding on Nelson New York. <coughs> looks like they are calling holding there. Another flag on the play. Holding on the Buckeye. Buckeyes have four penalties for 40 yards so far here in this first quarter. And they'll spot this one back at the Buckeye 38 yard line. So the Buckeyes will have third down and about 20 to go. 220 to play in the first quarter. Nelson New York leading 10 0. Buckeyes third and 20. Hunter Edwards will take the direct snap with no Andrews in the backfield with him. Two receivers on the right side. 
Edwards takes a snap, back to pass. It's a quarterback draw. Hunter Edwards on the move for the Buckeyes. Hunter Edwards to the 45 of River Valley. And he's the three yards shy of the first down. So the 16 yard pickup for Hunter Edwards. And now they're gonna spot it back at the 46 yard line of the Raiders. So the Buckeyes will have a fourth and four. It's a 15 yard pickup for Edwards. Let's see what the Buckeyes elect to do. Clock running a minute 30 to play in the first quarter. The Buckeyes up 10 nothing. Looks like the Buckeyes, the play clock's down to seven seconds. Looks like the Buckeyes will let it tick down and take a timeout. And they do so with one second left on the play clock. So the Buckeyes will talk this one over, facing a fourth and four at the River Valley. 46 yard line, the Buckeyes up 10 nothing, 117 to play in the first quarter. So it looks like the Buckeyes will go for it. Two receivers on the left, one on the right. Buckeyes out of the eye, fourth and four at the Raider, 46 yard line. Buckeyes out of the eye, Hunter Edwards under center. Waiting for the official to give him the signal, we're ready to go, and there it is. Yep. Edwards hands it off, Alex Mount on the right side, and Mount's got the first down for Nelsonville York. He gets pushed out of bounds. Right around the 30 yard line of the Raiders. Mount got knocked down over there. It looked like he might have stepped out, but again, we're sitting low and across the field, but it almost looked like he stepped out and then got knocked to the ground. But again, the officials have a lot better view of that than we do where we're sitting. But the Buckeyes, the main thing, they pick up the first down, first down and 10, Nelsonville, York at the River Valley 28 yard line. Buckeyes splitting out two receivers on each side. Hunter Edwards will take the direct snap with Noah Andrews in the backfield with him. Edwards takes a snap, it's a quarterback draw. He runs to the right side, Hunter Edwards. Nice run for Hunter as he takes it down to about the 20 yard line of the Raiders. But he picks up about eight yards. He has two carries for 23 yards so far for the Buckeyes. They spotted at the 21 yard line of River Valley. Buckeyes second down and three. Clock running with 43 seconds to play in the first quarter and the Buckeyes up 10 nothing. Buckeyes out of the eye, two receivers on the right, one on the left. Edwards looks to pass, throws, hits Aaron Davis but it's dropped incomplete. Out in the flat, so the Buckeyes will have a third and three, and the clock stops with the incompletion with 27 seconds left in the first quarter. Third down and three. Buckeyes third and three. Buckeyes third and three at the Raider 21. Two receivers on the right, one on the left, out of the eye. Keegan Wilburn at tailback. He'll take the pitch to this side, the freshman. And Keegan's got the first down. Down around the 14 yard line. First down and 10, Nelsonville, York. They'll start up the clock. There's a pickup of five for Wilburn. After the movement of the chains, the clock starts. We got 15 seconds left, Buckeyes. Sprint to the line of scrimmage, clock at 10 seconds. Buckeyes out of the eye, a receiver on each side, first and 10. Edwards takes a snap, hands it off. Keegan Wilburn is hit on the left side and dropped. It looks like he might have picked up about three yards to about the 11 yard line. And that'll be the final play of the first quarter here at River Valley High School. The Buckeyes lead the Raiders 10-0. Guys will have a second down and about seven as we begin the second quarter of play. Ball right around the 11 yard line it looks to be of the Raiders. Nelson Bill York out of the eye. Edwards takes the snap, hands it off Alex Mount up the middle 
And he didn't find much running room there as he's brought down by the Raiders. Right around the line of scrimmage and the Buckeyes will have a third and seven at the 11 yard line. Buckeyes up 10 nothing as we begin the second quarter of play. Of course, Buckeyes hoping to punch this one in for a touchdown and get a three score lead. Buckeyes facing third and seven at the 11 of the Raiders. They break huddle. And the Buckeyes out of the eye. Two receivers on the left, one on the right. It's a big third down here for the Buckeyes. I'd like to see him punch it in here. Hunter Edwards takes a snap, looking to throw. Throws on this side, and it is incomplete. Trying to hit Aaron Davis, and the pass was there, but it was that Davis was hit right as that ball arrived. It falls incomplete, and that brings up a fourth and seven. And the Buckeyes will attempt a field goal once again. Of course, Garrett Maiden hit a 34-yarder minutes ago. Give the Buckeyes a 10-0 lead. And this one will be about a 28-yarder for Garrett Maiden. Nice snap, the hold is down, the kick is up. High and deep, and it is good. Garrett Maiden. And the Buckeyes lead 13-0, 11-13 to play in the second quarter. Garrett Maiden will kick it away for Nelsonville, York. Buckeyes up 13-0. Garrett Maiden with the approach. And the kick, low liner up the field, and it's picked off at the 11-yard line. The turn man, I believe, is Lane Fitch, and he'll get knocked down right around the 31-yard line. Garrett Maiden what on a the tackle. tackle. Yeah, what a tackle by, by our kicker. Great job by Garrett Maiden. Get down the field. So first and 10 for the Raiders on their own 31-yard line. And the Buckeyes leading 13-0, 11.09 to play in the second quarter. Patrick Brown at quarterback for the Raiders. They'll split out a couple receivers to the right and one to the left. Actually, three to the right, one to the left. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap about three yards behind the line of scrimmage. And he does so, looks on the right side, now looking to run. And Brown will go down after a gain of about five, maybe six. Let's see where they spot this one. It'll be a gain of six for Patrick Brown. Raiders on their own 36 yard line. Second down in four. Raiders right back to the line of scrimmage, looking to the sidelines. Getting instruction from the coaches across the way. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. And Brown looking to throw, and he's hit by Matt Carter and dropped for a sack. And now to bring up a third down and about nine for the Raiders. Third and nine for the Raiders. Back on their own 32-yard line. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. Receivers on each side. He's looking to pass. Throwing along on the right side. Intermediate, I should say. And so along it is caught. And a receiver will cross the 50-yard line and take it to the Buckeye 46-yard line. I believe that was Trey Craycraft on that reception. So the Raiders first down and 10 at the Buckeye 46 yard line. 9.50 to play in the first half. The Buckeyes up 13 nothing. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Again, he'll take the direct snap. Receivers on each side. Takes a snap, looks this way. And he'll go down. It'll be a sack back at the 49 of the Buckeyes. That was number two. That Levi was Whitman. actually 
That, he may have handed that ball off to Jacob Campbell. I'm not sure if the quarterback kept that ball or if he handed it off to Campbell, but the Buckeyes were all over both of them. And River Valley will take a timeout. They're going to face a second down and 13 back at the Buckeye 49-yard line. And so the Raiders second down and 13 on the Buckeye 49. Raider offense back out on the field, as well as the Buckeye defense. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap, waiting for the head official to give him the signal that we're ready to go. And there it is. Second about 13. Patrick Brown looking for the snap, gets it straight back, looking to pass, being pressured. And he throws, and it's incomplete. And there's player to that pass was a Buckeye, and good pressure. Good pressure by Nelsonville York. I believe that was Connor Blake applying that pressure. And it was Connor Blake. Connor Edwards nearly intercepted that ball. Great defense by the Buckeyes. So third down and 13 for the Raiders at the Buckeye 49. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. Again, receivers. Split out to each side. Brown takes a snap, looking to throw. Throws to the right. Good coverage, and it's picked wow. off. Chris Cook on the interception, and that was a one-handed acrobatic interception yeah. by Chris Cook. And, and the Buckeyes take over. We've actually seen him do that before. He did it in the Trimble game. Um, and, and he's he's definitely an athletic kid. Went up there and made a, made a play on the ball. And great job by Chris Cook. So the Buckeyes get the ball back. Nelsonville York with a 13-0 lead here in the second quarter with 9.08 to play in the first half. And the Buckeyes will have it on their own 28-yard line. First down and 10. Buckeyes out of the eye. Hunter Edwards under center. Takes a snap, pitch out. Alex Mount to this side. Alex Mount. Finds the hole across the 40 and flags come in as Mount takes it into Raider territory to the 48 yard line. But again, a flag is down. There's at least two flags down. Yeah, it, must be, it might be multiple pennies, penalties on this play. Now he said block in the back, but he pointed towards River Valley. I imagine he pointed the wrong way. And now they do change it and say block in the back on Nelsonville York. I believe there were two block in the backs on the Buckeyes. Of course, the Raiders can only accept one of those. So that will spot it back at the 20 yard line. Buckeyes with a first down and about 18 yards to go, maybe 17. Buckeyes out of the eye once again. Pass out in the flat to this side, Chris Cook. And Cook will cover it up. Let's see what they rule that. I wasn't sure if it was a backwards pass or incomplete. incomplete. It looks like they will call it incomplete. It looked like Chris was trying to make a, make a cut up field before he actually secured the ball. No, they're actually calling it a lateral and Chris Cook did recover it because the official just gave the signal to get the clock going. Of course, it would have stopped on an incompletion. So the Buckeyes now facing second down and about 18. Buckeyes back on their own 19 yard line. Hunter Edwards takes the snap. He'll run with it to this side, but there's not much there and he'll go down. And the Buckeyes will have a third and long. That'll be a loss of two. Buckeyes back on their own 17 yard line. Buckeyes third down on about 20. 7.52 to play in the first half. The Buckeyes leading 13 0. Buckeyes third and 20. Back on their own 17 yard line. Buckeyes out of the eye. Two receivers on the left, one on the right. Draw play goes to Alex Mount. Mount comes to this side, Alex on the move, and 
He'll be tripped up and brought down just about four yards, maybe five short of the first down, but uh, he gets a huge chunk back for Nelsonville York. And it will bring up fourth down and five for the Buckeyes. Fourth down and about six. And Ronnie Wynn will punt it away for Nelsonville York. Buckeyes on their own 32 yard line. Fourth down and about five. Trey Craycraft back deep to receive the punt. Nice snap. And a flag comes in, two flags. Ronnie Wynn gets it away. It's picked up by Craycraft back at the 32 yard line. And he'll be tackled at the 39 yard line by Christian Berry. But again, there's two flags back up around the line of scrimmage. Legal procedure on Nelsonville York. Let's see if the Raiders want to take the five-yard penalty and make the Buckeyes re-kick or if they'll take it where it's at. They got pretty good field position. And they're going to bring it back. So the Raiders will take the five-yard mark off against Nelsonville York and force the Buckeyes to re-punt. Buckeyes will have a fourth and ten on their own 27-yard line. Buckeyes have played well both offensively and defensively, but one thing that's kind of plugged them is our penalties. 6.48 to play before halftime. The Buckeyes 13, the Raiders nothing. Buckeyes with a fourth and 10. Buckeyes on their own 27 will punt it away once again. Ronnie Wynn will punt it away for the Buckeyes. Ronnie Wynn gets it away, bounces at the 41. And it goes out of bounds at the 36-yard line. It looks like maybe they'll spot it right at the 35 of the Raiders, and that's where they'll, they'll have a first down and 10. 6.39 to play in the second quarter, and the Buckeyes leading 13-0 here at River Valley High School. Buckeyes need to get a good stop here before half. Raiders splitting out a receiver on each side. Quarterback Patrick Brown will once again take the direct snap about three yards behind the line of scrimmage. And he hands it off. I believe that is Jacob Campbell on the carry and it's a short gain. Gain of two and it'll bring up second and eight. He has three carries so far for two yards. Ball to Buckeye 38, second down and about eight. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Again, he'll take the direct snap. Drops back to pass, looking to throw. Throws on the right side, and he hit his man in the Buckeye territory down to the 35-yard line of Nelsonville, York. He's brought down immediately, but Raiders with a big gain. Again, down to the Buckeye 35, where it'll be first and 10. I believe that was... Jared McCarty on the reception. He spotted at the Buckeye 33. And Brown will hand it off on the right side to Campbell, and he has a little bit of running room this time as he's going to pick up about seven yards for the Raiders. Christian Berry on the tackle for Nelsonville York. Raiders right back to the line of scrimmage. Hand off on the left side, and the Buckeyes right there to bring him down. And a flag comes in late after the play. See what the penalty is. Personal foul on Nelsonville York. Five thirty-four to play in the first half. The Raiders down thirteen, nothing. But River Valley driving on the Buckeyes. The Buckeyes now have seven penalties for seventy yards so far in this first half. And 
They'll spot that one all the way down to the Buckeye 14-yard line. First down and 10 for the Raiders. Again, personal foul on the Buckeyes. Raiders at the line of scrimmage. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Again, he's three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Takes a snap, looks to this side, looking to throw. Now flushed out of the pocket, and the Buckeyes all over him, and he'll be sacked. Big loss on the play. It's a 14-yard, 15-yard loss. Tyler Spielman on that sack, leading the charge for the Buckeyes. So second down and 21 for the Raiders now. It's a big play by the Buckeye defense. Second and 21 for the Raiders. Right around the Buckeye 22. Brown looking to pass, throws on the right side and it is complete. A short pass play. And the receiver will be brought down right around the Buckeye 16 yard line. What'll bring up third down. And that's Dovenberger with the reception. Third and 13. For three yards, he has two catches for nine yards for the Raiders. 4.22 to play before halftime. The Buckeyes up 13-0. Raiders driving. They have a third and 13. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. Looking to pass. Throws out this way, and it's incomplete. Excellent defense out there by Christian Berry. As right as the receiver was getting ready to tuck that ball in on the reception, Berry hits him and knocks it loose. So it's fourth down and 13 for the Raiders. Big fourth down here for the Buckeye defense. Ball resting right around the Buckeye 15 yard line. And again, it's fourth and 13 for the Raiders. And the Raiders may attempt a field goal here. It's gonna be about a 33 yarder. Good snap, it's down, the kick is up, and the kick is no good off to the left. It had plenty of distance, but it was off to the left, no good, and the Buckeyes have held. Nelsonville York leading 13-0, four minutes, three seconds to play in the first half. So the Buckeyes with five sacks in this game, and Nelsonville York takes over. Buckeyes on their own. 20 yard line. Hunter Edwards will take the direct snap. Two receivers on each side. Edwards looking to pass. Now he'll run with it on a quarterback draw. Hunter Edwards on the left side. And Edwards will take it out to close to the first down, but looks like he might be a yard shy of it. Edwards picks up nine yards. It'll bring up second and one for the Buckeyes on their own 29. Edwards has five carries for 27 yards so far in the first half. Buckeyes break huddle, come to the line of scrimmage with a second down and one situation. Buckeyes on their own 29. Handoff goes to Noah Andrews. He's got the first down as he breaks several tackles, still running hard. Noah Andrews out to the 40 yard line of the Buckeyes. It's a pickup of 12 for Andrews. 3.17 to play in the first half. The Buckeyes up 13-0. Nelson Bill York with the football. A first down and 10 on their own 40. Andrews has four carries for 18 yards so far. Hunter Edwards will take the direct snap. First and 10. Edwards will run with it on the right side. Edwards has some running room, and he'll take it out for another nine-yard pickup. Out to the Buckeye 49 yard line. Second and one for Nelsonville York. Six for 36 for Hunter Edwards. Clock running, 245 to play. In the second quarter, Buckeyes with plenty of time. Nelsonville York with two timeouts left. Second and one for Nelsonville York on their own 49. Two receivers on each side. Edwards will take the direct snap, hands it off to Andrews. He's got the first down as he takes it to the Raider 45-yard line as he picks up six. 
great pickup in there by Noah Andrews. First and 10 Buckeyes at the 45 yard line of the Raiders. Buckeyes break huddle, approach the line of scrimmage. Splitting out a couple receivers on each side, Hunter Edwards and Noah Andrews in the backfield. Edwards will take the direct snap. And he'll run with it. Now he takes it to the left side, but the Raiders in the backfield and Edwards trying to break away, but he'll finally go down for a loss back at the 48 yard line of River Valley. A three yard loss and the Buckeyes will have a second and 13. Buckeyes have ran that play a couple times here. River Valley read that play well. A minute 38 to play. In the first half, the Buckeyes up 13-0 and Nelsonville York with a second and 13 at the Raider 48-yard line. Buckeyes in the huddle. Now approaching the line of scrimmage. Splitting out two receivers on the right side. Chris Cook, Cook and Garrett Maiden. Now a flag comes in, whistles blow the play dead. And it's delay a game on Nelsonville York. So the five yard penalty takes it back into Buckeye territory. Buckeyes on their own 47 yard line and the Buckeyes will have a second and 18. 118 to play in the second quarter. The Buckeyes up 13 nothing. Again, the Buckeyes with two timeouts left. Clock is running. Buckeyes hurry to the line of scrimmage. Second and 18 on their own 47. Two receivers on each side, Edwards Takes a direct snap, back to pass, looking to throw, has time, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete towards Chris Cook down at the 25-yard line. Just just a little too high on the pass. Yeah, that could be something we go back to, though. Chris Cook definitely shows some speed out there in the open field. Just a little too high with the pass there. So the Buckeyes with a third down and 18 with 58 seconds to play. Of course, the clock stops on the incompletion. Buckeyes third and 18 on their own 47 yard line. Splitting out three receivers to the right, one to the left. Hunter Edwards will take the direct snap. No, a Andrews in the backfield with him. Edwards looking to pass, has time. Throws long on the right side. Towards Ronnie Wynn, he's got it! Down to the 10, and he may be in. No, they're gonna rule him out of bounds. At the five yard line. So the Buckeyes, now cooking with grease. <laughs> First and goal at the five yard line, 46 seconds to play and the Buckeyes with two timeouts left. What a catch by Ronnie Wynn, good concentration. That pass was spot on and Ronnie Wynn beat his man and pulled it in. 46 yard completion. Buckeyes first and goal at the five yard line. They go, go out of the eye. Two receivers on the left. Handoff goes to Alex Mount on the right side. Mount cuts it back up. And now a flag comes in. Mount will go down. He may have got it to the four yard line, but there wasn't a whole lot of running room there. But again, a flag is down on the play. Clock stops with 39 seconds remaining with the penalty. Waiting for the official to make the call. Personal foul face mask on Nelsonville York. And it really looked like Alex Mount's head moved. I thought it was going to be a face mask on Liver Valley. So they'll back up the Buckeyes. That's a 15 yard penalty. Buckeyes on the 20-yard line of River Valley. It'll be first down and goal. Buckeyes out of the eye. Edwards back to pass, rolls to the left, throws to the end zone, and it's cut for the touchdown. 20-yard, that was Keegan Wilburn. The freshman. Yep. Keegan Wilburn of the Buckeyes pulls that one in. 20-yard catch, a 20-yard touchdown. Tell you what, Hunter Edwards threw a seed to the end zone because 
There was a couple Raiders trailing Keegan Wilburn, but Wilburn went down to make sure he secured that ball. That was a perfect pass and a perfect catch for the Buckeyes. Extra point is up by Garrett Maiden, and it is good. 33 seconds to play in the first half, and the Buckeyes now lead 20 to nothing over River Valley. Garrett Maiden tees it up for Nelson Bill York. Garrett Maiden will approach. And the kick, a low squib kick up the field. Picked up by Craycraft across the 20. The 25 comes to this side. Craycraft now will go down right around the 35 yard line of the Raiders and a late flag comes in. Flags flying from everywhere. Let's we'll see what this call is. 25 seconds to play in the first half. for the official signal. And the officials walking all the way across the field to talk to head coach Jared Sparling of River Valley. <coughs> the Buckeyes so far, well, even without this penalty, have nine penalties for 90 yards in this first half. Looks like they're ready to mark this off against the Buckeyes, but now the official turns around and they're gonna mark it off against the Raiders. Personal foul on River Valley. That brings the Nelson fans to their feet. That's their first penalty of the game. So that penalty will take it back to around the 10 yard line. Raiders on their own 10 yard line, just 25 seconds to play here in the first half. And I figure the Raiders, again, they'll get the ball coming out in the second half that they won't do anything fancy here to. Give the Buckeyes another chance at a score. I would think they would be conservative here. Patrick Brown at quarterback. He's looking to pass. Throws, and it is caught. And a little lateral back. I believe it was a forward lateral. Flags come in. And the runner for River Valley gets knocked out at the 40-yard line. So the receiver looked like a tight end made the catch, and then he laterals it back. And immediately, as soon as the lateral happened, a flag comes flying in by a side judge, and I imagine it was a forward lateral. It looked like they were setting up that type of play, but the player was definitely in and front of him. Penalty will be marked off. It is a illegal forward pass by the Raiders. And they'll spot it back at the 19-yard line. So it'll be first. It'll be second and 11, loss of down. Fourteen point seven seconds to play in the first half. Brown throws out in the right flat, it is caught. And the Buckeyes will run him out of bounds with 8.7 seconds to play before halftime. They spotted right around the 26 yard line where it'll be third down and four for the Raiders with 8.7 seconds to play. Again, the Buckeyes up 20 to nothing here in the first half. And that was Lane Fitch on the reception. Third and four for the Raiders. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. Raiders on their own 26. Three receivers on the left, one on the right. Brown takes a snap, looking to throw. Now flush out of the pocket, and he's going to go down. That'll go down as another sack for the Buckeyes. He goes down for a yard loss, and it's halftime here at River Valley Stadium and Bidwell at halftime. Now, wait a minute. The officials now having the team stay out on the field. I'm not sure if a flag was thrown. 
But the officials were telling the teams to stay out on the field. They're asking for some more time put to put, put on the clock. Um, the Buckeyes may have called a timeout there with just seconds left. And I believe that's what it is because this brings up a fourth down and five for the Raiders on their own 25. So the Buckeyes trying to force the Raiders to punt it away here with two seconds left. Low snap, and he gets away, and he'll just angle it towards the sidelines. It goes out of bounds, and it is halftime now here at River Valley High School in Bidwell, and what a first half it's been for the Buckeyes of Nelsonville, York, both on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. At halftime, Nelsonville, York 20, River Valley nothing. Getting ready for second half play here at River Valley High School. The Buckeyes on top 20 to nothing. And Amanda Dalton with some stats for us. All right, we have uh, for the Buckeyes, Alex Mount. Nice game running the ball so far. Has nine carries for 154 yards. One of those being a touchdown. A Noah Andrews, five carries for 24 yards. Hunter Edwards has seven carries for 33 yards. And Keegan Wilburn has two carries for eight yards. Hunter Edwards was four of eight passing in the first half for 84, 85 yards. Noah Andrews caught one pass for 12 yards. Garrett Maiden caught one pass for seven yards. Ronnie Wynn caught one pass to set up a touchdown for four, 46 yards. And Keegan Wilburn caught a touchdown pass for 20 yards. For River Valley, Jacob Campbell has five carries for three yards. And Patrick Brown has four of eight in the first half with 78 yards. Garrett Maiden getting ready to kick it away. Buckeyes in the third quarter will be going from our left to right. Again, we're sitting in the Nelson, New York stands here at River Valley Stadium. Maiden with the approach and the kick. Nice kick by Maiden, taken right around the seven yard line. Looks like that's Lane Fitch, takes it to the far side. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 26 yard line. Let's see where they spot it. Maybe the 24. I also like to mention Garrett Mading hitting two big field goals in the first half one for 28 yards and one for 34 yards. And they will spot it at the 24 yard line. The Raiders first down in 10. Buckeyes led 10 0 at the end of the. First quarter and 20 to nothing at halftime. Raiders at the line of scrimmage. First and 10 on their own 24. Patrick Brown looking to pass. Throws on the right side. It is caught. Tackle made by Shaquem Williams across the way. And that'll be a gain of about five out to the 31. And that's McCarley on the reception. He has two catches for 34 yards so far for River Valley. Second and about four for the Raiders. Patrick Brown looking to pass. Throws on the right side again. Another short pass is completed. This time the tackle made by Christian Berry across the way. Looks like it'll bring up a third down situation for the Raiders. It's a pickup of about three. It was Lane Fitch on the reception. He has four receptions for 38 yards. Official will look at it from across the field. Of course, the chains are on this side of the field. The ball's over in front of the River Valley bench across the way. The way. And they say first down and 10 Raiders. First down and 10, Raiders on their own 34 yard line. 11.23 to play in the third quarter. The Buckeyes up 20 to nothing. 
Raiders, a couple receivers split out to each side. Patrick Brown, that quarterback. He'll take the direct snap about three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Looks this way, throws, and it is incomplete. Chris Cook comes in to hit the receiver right as the ball arrives. It was a low pass, but the receiver trying to pull that one in. As Cook arrived as the ball did. It was intended for number 33, Jacob Dovenberger. Barger. Second and 10 for River Valley on their own 34 yard line. Getting two receivers on each side. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Takes a snap, back to pass. Now runs up the middle with the football and he'll go down around the 40 yard line of River Valley, a gain of about six yards and it'll bring up third and four. Spillman and O'Neill on that tackle for the Buckeyes. Third and four for the Raiders. Buckeye defense have had five sacks in the first half, one interception. Raiders th third and four on their own 40 yard line. Patrick Brown, that quarterback, takes a snap, throws out in the flat to this side, and the Buckeyes right there. Excellent play by Nelsonville York. I believe that was Chris Cook. And, and it was Chris Cook. Lane Fitch pulls in that pass out in the flat right at the line of scrimmage, and when that pass was heading to Fitch, it looked like he was going to catch it and be able to pick up the first down, but Chris Cook came flying up the field and hit him right as he caught that ball right around the line of scrimmage. Made so a really nice play on the ball there. No game, so they will punt it away on fourth down. Fourth down at about four, and they roll it. It's the snap. It's between his legs, and he'll cover it up back at the 15. So the Buckeyes will have the ball at the Raider 15 yard line. Again, the snap rolled back to the punter and it went right between the wickets <laughs> and the punter runs it down, but the Buckeyes will have it first and 10 at the 15 yard line. They'll spot it at the 17 yard line, but the Buckeyes in business here in the third quarter already leading 20 to nothing, 9.48 to play in the period. Buckeyes break huddle, coming to the line of scrimmage. Garrett Maiden will split out wide left. Buckeyes in a wishbone look now. Edwards at quarterback, hands it off to Noah Andrews, and he's hit immediately, breaks that tackle. And Noah Andrews will pick up about three yards for the Buckeyes, but it looked like he had absolutely nothing until he broke that initial tackle. You definitely can't tackle him high. you got to tackle him low, and he really... Uh, make something out of nothing there. Good job by Noah Andrews. So the Buckeyes second and seven at the 14 yard line of the Raiders. Buckeyes huddling up. Play clock down to four seconds. And now they will put it back up. They reset the play clock. Looks Buckeyes. like the referee was talking to the Buckeyes there. The Buckeyes come to the line of scrimmage. Second down and seven at the 14 of the Raiders. Buckeyes still in that wishbone look. Hand off to this side, Alex Mount. And Mount will take it down around the 10 yard line, I believe. The pick up a four. The Buckeyes will have a third down and about three. They're going to spot it just outside the 10 yard line. Third down and about three and a half yards to go for the Buckeyes. Buckeyes with Christian Berry, Noah Andrews, and Alex Mount in a wishbone look. Hunter Edwards under center at quarterback. Hands off, Noah Andrews on the left side. And Andrews, a short gain on the plate, not much there. It looks like he gets it to the 10 yard line, but that'll be it. And the Buckeyes will have a fourth down. See if the Buckeyes will go for it on fourth down and about three or if they'll attempt the field goal. And the Buckeyes will go for it this time. Fourth down and about three at the 10-yard line of the Raiders. 
Buckeyes two receivers on the left out of the eye. Edwards back to pass, rolls left, throws to the end zone, and it's picked off by the Raiders. He's across the 20 of the Buckeyes, and then Hunter Edwards makes the tackle right around the 22. And credit Hunter Edwards with a big tackle there because he might have been the only one standing between that interceptor and the Buckeye goal line. So the Raiders will take over. I believe around their own 22 yard line, trying to see where they're gonna spot this. It looks like it will be the 22. 7.26 to play in quarter number three here at River Valley. The Buckeyes 20 and the Raiders nothing. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap about three yards behind the line. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. And it looked like we may have a legal procedure on the Raiders, but no flag. Pass on the right side, and it is caught. Nice catch by the receiver to the Buckeye 46. Buckeyes in pretty good coverage, and he still pulls in the reception. So first down and 10, Raiders at the Buckeye 47 is where they spot it. 7.15 to play in this game. Clock or in the third quarter, pardon me, and the clock is running. The Buckeyes up 20 to nothing. Raiders first and 10 at the Buckeye 47. Patrick Brown once again will take the direct snap as the Raiders spread it out. He's looking to pass, throws on the left side. It is caught. And that'll be a gain of about seven yards. I believe Ronnie Wynn made the tackle for the Buckeyes. And that was Lane Fitch on the reception. He has five receptions for 45 yards. They'll call it a eight yard pickup. It'll be second and two for the Raiders at the Buckeye 38. They split out three receivers to the left, one to the right. The quarterback keeps it right up the middle and the Buckeyes hit him immediately and he got nowhere. So a little quarterback draw from the Raiders, but the Buckeyes right on top of it. That brings up third and two. Raiders right at the line of scrimmage. Again, clock running, 6.25 to play in the third quarter. And the Buckeyes up 20 to nothing. Raiders with a third and two. Just inside the Buckeye 38 yard line. Patrick Brown at quarterback, takes a snap, throws, no, he pulls it down, runs to the left side. And the Buckeyes right there, and he gets hit and hit hard. That was Noah Anderson with a big tackle. Oh no, it was Garrett O'Neill with a big tackle. And it looks like he'll be a yard shy of the first down. They'll spot it at the Buckeye 37, and it'll bring up fourth down and one. And now let's see if they're gonna measure. And they will, the head official Calls for the chain gang to come out. Five fifty to play in the third quarter. The Buckeyes up twenty to nothing. And it's a first down for the Raiders. Just inside the ball spotted just inside the Buckeye thirty seven. Raiders with some momentum here. Buckeyes need to stay in tall here defensively. River Valley first and 10 at the Buckeye 37 yard line. Patrick Brown at quarterback, three receivers on the right, one on the left. Jacob Campbell, the lone back in the backfield with Patrick Brown, the quarterback. Brown about three yards behind the line. We'll take the direct snap. Play clock down to five seconds. He takes the snap, looking to throw straight back to pass. And now he'll run with it, Patrick Brown, and he'll go down after a short gain on the play to the Buckeye 34 yard line. They'll spot it at the 33. So a gain of three, it brings up second and seven. He was tackled in there by Garrett O'Neill. Raiders at the line of scrimmage, looking at the River Valley coaches for instructions. And we're ready to go. Play clock down to four seconds. Brown takes a snap, throws on the right side, and it is caught. Immediate tackle by the Buckeyes, but he's close to a first down. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like it will be third down, however. 
Third down and about a yard to go. At the Buckeye 28 yard line. 440 to play in the third quarter. Buckeyes up 20 to nothing. Raiders with a third and one at the Buckeye 28. And the Raiders at the line of scrimmage, all of them looking over at the Raider bench. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Man in motion to this side for the Raiders. Little option play, pitch out to Campbell. Buckeyes in pursuit, and Campbell will go down. Let's see where they spot this. He didn't get much, but of course the Raiders didn't need much, just needing a yard. It looks like he's about a half yard shy, and it'll bring up fourth down. It is fourth down for the Raiders. Fourth down on about a half yard to go. Right around the Buckeye 27 yard line. Big fourth down here for the Buckeyes defense. Four minutes to play, clock running here in the third quarter. Fourth down and about a half yard to go for River Valley. Quarterback will take the direct snap. He's got two backs in the backfield. Hand off to Campbell, and he's got the first down as he breaks a tackle. Buckeyes hitting pretty quickly, but good second effort by Campbell, the running back for the Raiders. He picks up the first down on the gain of about three. Buckeyes need to keep keep pushing here defensively. First and 10 inside the Buckeye 25. Brown being chased out of the pocket. He's hit from behind by Aaron Davis. What a play by Aaron Davis. And let's see where they spot that. And that was a yard loss on the play, so that is a sack for Aaron Davis. It brings up second and 11. They spot it back at the 25 of Nelsonville, York. Patrick Brown at quarterback, three receivers on the right, one on the left. He's got Campbell in the backfield with him. Brown takes a snap, looking to throw. Looking, looking, looking. Now rolls to the right, throws out in the flat. And it is caught, the receiver broke the tackle. And he dives and he's in for the touchdown. He's 25 yard reception there. So with 2.56 to play in the third quarter, River Valley now on the scoreboard, currently trailing the Buckeyes by 14 with a point after touchdown attempt upcoming. Lane Fitch now has seven receptions for 61 yards and a touchdown. River Valley attempting the PAT, and the kick is up, and it's blocked by Hunter Edwards. Hunter Edwards came flying through from the left side of the River Valley offensive line and blocks the extra point, so the Buckeyes leading River Valley 20 to six, 2.56 to play in the third quarter. Chris Cook back deep for the Buckeyes. Colton Gilmore will kick it away for the Raiders. The approach and the kick goes to the far side towards Bryce Parker Lent. He pulls it in around the 15. Bryce Parker Lent coming to this side across the 25, across the 30, trying to turn the corner, but he'll go out of bounds right around the 40 yard line. Let's see where they spot this. A nice return by Bryce Parker Lent. And it looks like they're going to spot it right at the 40 of Nelson, New York. That's a nice return by. And they're going to spot it on the 39. So first down and 10 for the Buckeyes at the 39. 2.47 to play in quarter number three at River Valley High School. The Buckeyes with a 14-point advantage. Buckeyes break huddle, splitting out two receivers to the left, two to the right. Noah Andrews in the backfield with Hunter Edwards, who will take the direct snap, about five yards behind the line. Takes a snap, Edwards will run with it to this side. And Edwards trying to break away, it's gonna be a short gain. They'll finally take him down and Hunter will pick up about three yards on the play, maybe four, we'll have to wait for the spot. Looks like a three yard 
gain for Hunter Edwards. Buckeyes on their own 41 yard line. Second down and about seven. Buckeyes come to the line of scrimmage. Just putting out two receivers to the left. The Buckeyes out of the eye formation. No Andrews at fullback. Alex Mount at tailback. Hand off to Alex Mount on the left side. Brings it back to the middle of the field. Alex Mount on the move. Across the 40 of River Valley, the 30. 10, 5, touchdown, Alex Mount. 57 yards for Alex Mount. No flag. Alex Mount took that hand off and took that, he took it to the left side and then took that big quick step to the middle of the field. And I'll tell you what, the offensive line has really played great for the Buckeyes tonight, opening up holes, but also Hunter Edwards giving him a lot of time. There's been times where Hunter just sitting back there just picking out which receiver he wants to throw it yeah, to. And I'm really sure nice Hunter job. can get used to that. Sure. That was a 57 yard touchdown run by Alex Mount. Garrett Maiden attempting the point after touchdown. The kick is up and the kick is good. 154 to play. In the third quarter, the Buckeyes get the touchdown back. Nelsonville York leading 27 to six. Garrett Maiden will kick it away for Nelsonville York, walking off his steps. And I believe you said Alex Mount now with 215 yards rushing. Two touchdowns. Garrett Maiden now with the approach. And the kick, nice kick. It'll be taken around the seven yard line by Lane Fitch. Takes it to the far side. Has a little bit of running room to the far side and will finally go down right around the 28 yard line. Have to wait for the official mark. One forty-five to play in the third quarter. The Buckeyes leading by 21. The Raiders first and 10. They'll spot it at the River Valley 30. Of course, their last drive, the Raiders scored a touchdown. They had a 78-yard drive last time, so they, we really need to make sure that we tighten things up here defensively. River Valley offense back out on the field. Patrick Brown will take the direct snap. Looking to pass, looks this way, he throws, and it's incomplete as it bounces to the receiver. And Chris Cook, pretty good coverage for the Buckeyes. It's incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Raiders. River Valley on their own 30 yard line. Second down and 10. Couple receivers to each side. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Jacob Campbell in the backfield with him. Pass out on the right flat. The receiver makes the catch and then he'll be tackled around the 33 yard line. That was a nice tackle by Noah Andrews. That was Lane Fitch on the reception. So they will spot it at the 34-yard line of the Raiders and it'll bring up third and six, a four-yard pickup. Lane Fitch has 65 yards receiving on eight, eight receptions. To go along with the touchdown. Clock running a minute 35 to play. In the third quarter, the Buckeyes 27, the Raiders six. Third down and six for River Valley. At the Buckeye 30, or pardon me, the Raider 34 yard line. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Receivers split out on each side, three of them, three of them to this side, the left side. Third and six for the Raiders. Patrick Brown takes a snap, looks this way, looks over the middle of the field, throws long over to the middle of the field, but it's going to fall incomplete. Is Man, he's trying to get it to. He had a couple steps on the Buckeye defender, but a little bit overthrown, incomplete, and that brings up fourth and six. Yeah, the intended receiver was Jared McCarley. Chris Cook will receive the punt for the Buckeyes, standing at the Nelsonville York 31-yard line. 
Good snap this time for the Raiders. They get the punt away, a low liner up the field. And the Buckeyes will just let it roll and it'll be down at the Buckeye 30 yard line. 51 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Buckeyes 27 and the Raiders six. Uh, offense jogs out onto the field. Of course, the Buckeyes' last drive was a three-play drive, being capped off by Alex Mountain, 57-yard touchdown run. Next week, the Buckeyes will travel to Logan, take on the Chieftains, and River Valley will play at Meg's. First down and 10 for Nelsonville York on their own 30-yard line. Buckeyes at the line of scrimmage, out of the eye. Two receivers split out wide right. Fake handoff, Edwards looking to pass. Throwing long on the right side towards Chris Cook. And it's caught by Cook. Chris Cook's gonna take it all the way. And it looked like the ball was tipped by a River Valley defender. But right there was Chris Cook to pull it in. What concentration by Chris Cook. Again, usually when that happens, when a defender Tips the ball like that right in front of you. It's usually not caught. But Chris Cook brings it in. He takes it all the way for a Buckeye touchdown. 70 yard touchdown reception. Looks like he's limping off there. Might just be a cramp there for Chris Cook. The trainer and Hunter Edwards helping him off the field. Garrett Maiden will attempt the point after touchdown. Aaron Davis will snap. Now we have a flag coming in. Looks like maybe delay a game on Nelsonville York. It's legal procedure is the call on the Buckeyes. Five yard penalty and again Aaron Davis will snap. Mikey Seal will hold. Garrett Maiden will attempt the point after touchdown. Good snap, good hold. The kick is up and the kick is through. 38 seconds to play. In the third quarter, Buckeyes 34 and the Raiders six. Garrett Maiden will tee it up. Walks off his steps. Back deep for the Raiders is Lane Fitch. Along with Trey Craycraft. The Buckeyes now leading by 28. Maiden with the approach and the kick and it comes towards Lane Fitch. Takes it at the 10 yard line. Takes it to the far side of the field. Fitch still on his feet, crosses the 20. Crosses the Buckeye 30. And it looks like he'll get it out to around the 35 yard line before he's run out of bounds. Run out of bounds by Corbin Kepler, number 32 for the Buckeyes. 28 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Buckeyes up 34 to six. You mentioned that the Buckeyes play Logan next week. Just want to remind everybody that game starts at seven o'clock. It's on a 7.30 start, starts at seven o'clock. First down and 10, River Valley on their own 36-yard line. Patrick Brown, that quarterback, takes a snap, looking to pass, throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. Trying to hit Lane Fitch with that one out at the 47-yard line of the Raiders. And that guy's pretty good coverage, but the pass falls incomplete. Shaquem, Jonathan Richards, and uh, Ronnie Wynn there in coverage for the Buckeyes. So second down and 10 for River Valley on their own 36 yard line. 25 seconds to play in the third quarter. Again, Patrick Brown will take the direct snap about three yards behind the line of scrimmage. He has three receivers split out to the left, one to the right. Takes the snap, looking to pass, being pressured, runs to the right side, he will run with it and he'll take it out to around midfield and that's where they'll spot him down. So. Patrick Brown picks up the first down for the Raiders. Picks up about 14 yards. First down and 10, River Valley. Defense! 
21 seconds to play in the third quarter. Raiders three receivers to the left, one to the right. Patrick Brown at quarterback. And a flag comes in, a legal procedure on River Valley. Looked like the receiver on this end just jumped prematurely. So the Raiders will have it back on their own 45-yard line, first and 15. That's River Valley's only, only third penalty of the game for 25 yards. It's the first penalty called this half. First and 15 for the Raiders on their own 45. Patrick Brown at quarterback. Throws out in the right flat. That's a lateral, and it's a pass, and it's going to fall incomplete. Trying to hit Lane Fitch down the field, and Hunter Edwards in great coverage, and it goes over both of their heads. Again, he throws it out in the flat, and it was definitely a backwards pass, and then the receiver who pulled it in tried to make a pass downfield, but it was overthrown incomplete. Second down and 15 for the Raiders on their own 45-yard line. 15 seconds to play in the third quarter. A couple of receivers to each side for Patrick Brown. He's looking to pass. Throws to this side, and it is caught. It's a first down. Down to the Buckeye 28-yard line is where he's brought down. Jonathan Richards in on the tackle. And that's number 42, Trey, Trey Craft. First down and 10 for the Raiders, right around the Buckeye 28. The Raiders are going to be unable to get off another play as now the clock hits triple zeros here in the third quarter. And that is the end of the third quarter here at River Valley. Nelsonville, York leading the Raiders 34 to 6. River Valley's been able to kind of drive the ball down the field this half. We'd like to get a see if the Buckeyes can stiffen up their defense here. Raiders first down and 10. Right around the Buckeye 27. Patrick Brown throws to this side. It is caught. And the Buckeyes make the tackle. The ball's loose and it's picked up by Hunter Edwards and it's a live ball. Hunter Edwards is going to take it all the way for a Buckeye touchdown. I'm not sure if that was Shaquem Williams on the tackle out there in the flat. It was kind of blocked by the Buckeye bench, the players and coaches on the Buckeye bench. But I think it might have been Shaquem that made the tackle and knocked that away. And then Hunter Edwards picks up the loose ball and returns it all the way for a touchdown. And the Buckeyes now up 40 to 6. It's a great defensive play. Buckeyes have just done, done well so overall defensively with some sacks and an interception. And now we got a fumble return for a touchdown. Garrett Maiden attempting the PAT. And. I'm not sure if it's a bad snap or a hold. Maiden throws the end zone and it's incomplete. Trying to hit Aaron Davis with it. It looked like the holder couldn't handle the, the snap. And then he just pitched it back to Garrett Maiden. Maiden rolled out and threw to the end zone. And Aaron Davis made a diving attempt and nearly pulled that in. But it's incomplete on the conversion attempt. But the Buckeyes lead 40 to 6, 11.43 to play. In the fourth quarter. Garrett Maiden ready to kick it away for the Buckeyes. The approach and the kick, another nice one taken right around the seven yard line. Again, that's Lane Fitch. He takes it to the far side. And then he's going to be knocked out of bounds right around the Buckeye, or pardon me, the Raider 26 yard line. And again, with the Buckeyes leading 40 to six, we go to the, where the clock continues to run, the continuous clock, the Buckeyes leading by 34. Again, if in the second half, if one team is up by 30 or more points, 
And then the clock runs continuously other than for timeouts, things of that nature. So the clock is running. First down and 10, Raiders. Raiders on their own 26. Patrick Brown at quarterback, looks th this way, and he will be sacked. Buckeyes right there will bring him down back at the 20-yard line. That's Noah Andrews. He's been in a lot of defensive ta uh, tackles tonight and defensive plays. Great job by Noah Andrews. Loss of close to six for the Raiders. Second down and 16 back on their own 20. Patrick Brown at quarterback, three receivers split out wide right, one to the left. He takes a snap, throws long on the left side, and it's overthrown incomplete out at the Raider 45 yard line. Shaquem Williams in coverage on the far side and Jonathan Richards from that safety position running over to help out, but it was overthrown. Clock stopped right now for the incompletion at 10.35 left in the fourth quarter, but the clock should be running. Again, it should be a continuous clock with the Buckeyes up by 34, and they did announce that there would be a continuous okay. clock. You got it running now. So the Raiders now third down and about 16. Back on their own 20, Brown throws on the left side, oh. and Noah Andrews, I believe it was, over there. Yep, nearly. Uh, he did a nice job tipping that ball away. He was wanting that interception. You know what he is wanting. Yep. He's Kind of swung that arm around to, that he almost had it, but a great play by Noah Andrews. He leaped in the air and just knocked that ball away. He does a great job for the Buckeye defense. So the Raiders will punt on fourth and 16, back on their own 20. Nice snap. Punt is away, high punt, lands at the Buckeye 49, and the Raiders will down it right there. And they'll spot it right on the 50-yard line. First down and 10, Buckeyes. Nelsonville, York leading 40 to six. Guys up 40 to six, again, 9.28 to play in the fourth quarter. Nelson Bill York with the football. And it looks it's like, like Garrett Maiden will be at quarterback now. Looks like Keegan Wilburn at tailback. Buckeyes out of the eye. And the handoff on the right side, and that'll be a yard loss for the Buckeyes back to the 49. I believe that was Keegan Wilburn on the carry. One yard loss, second down and 11 for the Buckeyes on their own 49. We were talking about the offensive line so far uh, rushing the Buckeyes have 288 yards rushing. Uh, that's a big credit to the offensive line, making some big holes and gaps for these kids to run through. Have an official's timeout, one of the Buckeyes tying up one of his cleats. And we're ready to go. Garrett Maiden at quarterback, at Buckeyes second and 11 on their own 49. And off to Keegan Wilburn, and he'll be brought down right around the line of scrimmage. And the Buckeyes will have a third down and 11. That may have been Bryce Parker Lynn on that carry for the Buckeyes. 7.54 to play in the game, clock running, and the Buckeyes up 40 to 6. Third down and 11 for Nelsonville York on their own 49 out of the eye. 
Fake handoff, Garrett Maiden looking to pass on the right side. He throws and he hits Levi Wickman. And he's down close to the first down. Looks like he may have it. Let's see where they spot it. And it is a first down for Nelsonville York. Great, great catch, great pass by Garrett Maiden. Buckeyes first and 10 at the 40 yard line of the Raiders. Guys, a receiver on each side, out of the eye. Garrett Maiden at quarterback. Hands it off to the fullback. That's Corbin Kepler on the carry. He'll take it to the 38-yard line as he picks up a couple yards for Nelsonville York. In fact, they spot it closer to the 37-yard line, a gain of three, second and seven. Clock running, 6.35 to play in the fourth quarter. The Buckeyes 40, the Raiders 6. Mikey Seal at quarterback, and looked like there was a fumble on the center quarterback exchange there. Be a yard loss, Buckeyes third and eight. Back on the 38 yard line of the Raiders. Buckeyes huddle up now coming to the line of scrimmage. Mikey Seal at quarterback for Nelsonville York, a receiver on each side out of the eye. Buckeyes third and eight. He's looking to pass, throws out in the flat, hits Keegan Wilburn, breaks a couple tackles, a little spin move, and Wilburn close to another Buckeye first down at the 30. And let's see if they give him enough for the first down. And they do. It's spotted right at the 30-yard line. First down and 10, Nelsonville, York. Brought him down, moved the ball to just outside the 30. Enough for uh, Nelsonville first down. First down and 10 for the Buckeyes at the 30 yard line of the Raiders. Buckeyes out of the eye. Hand off to Bryce Parker Lent, but a little mix up in the backfield and then the Raiders are right there to take Lent down. Bryce Parker Lent. Loss of five, second and 15. Buckeyes at the 34-yard line of the Raiders. Four and a half minutes to play in the game, and the Buckeyes up 40 to six. Nelsonville York out of the eye. Mikey Seal throws out in the flat, caught by Keegan Wilburn. Wilburn still on his feet for the Buckeyes, breaks another tackle. And he's down close to another first down. And let's see where they spot him out. They spot him out at the 22. So he'll be just a couple yards shy of the first down. Clock running, four minutes to play in this game. Again, the Buckeyes leading by 34. Third down and two. Nelsonville York at the 22-yard line of the Raiders. Buckeyes out of the eye. Mikey Seal back to pass. Throws on the left side, and it is incomplete towards Keegan Wilburn. Guys will have a fourth down and two. Of course, the clock continues to run with the Buckeyes up by 34, even with the incompletions. 3.15 to play in the game. Buckeyes 40, Raiders 6. Fourth and two for Nelsonville York at the 22-yard line of the Raiders. Guys out of the eye. Mikey Seal, quarterback, hands off to the fullback. And it looks like he got the first down. Kepler is the ball carrier for the, for the uh, Buckeyes. That was Corbin Kepler on the carry. First down and 10, Nelsonville, York. Nice pickup by Kepler. 
Buckeyes on the 20 yard line of the Raiders, 235 to play in this game. Buckeyes with the receiver on each side, out of the eye. And off to the fullback once again. Gain of about three for Nelsonville York. That's Wilson for the ball carrier. Wyatt, Wyatt Wilson. Wilson. Buckeyes second and eight at the 18 yard line of River Valley. Guy split out a receiver to each side. Out of the eye formation. Hand off to the fullback once again. I believe it's Logan Bruce. Nice run. He's picked up four yards there. Great job by Logan Bruce. And the Buckeyes will have a third down and about two. A minute 30 to play in the game. Buckeyes out of the eye. Once again, Logan Bruce on the left side breaks a tackle. And it looks like he's got a first down for Nelsonville York. Nice run by Bruce because it looked like he was hit short of the first down and he would not be denied. He spun out of that and was able to pick up an extra yard there. Pick up of two for Logan Bruce. Buckeyes out of the eye, clock one minute to play. Hand off on the right side. Logan Bruce on the carry for Nelsonville York. Not much doing that time. Buckeyes bringing in some more offensive players here. Clock running at 30 seconds. Buckeye second goal around the eight. Mikey Seal rolling to the right side. And he dumps it off and it is a touchdown. I believe that was Wyatt Wilson out there that pulled that in and scored for the Buckeyes. Nice job by Wyatt Wilson. Nice pass by Mikey Seal. Buckeyes up 46 to six with 18 seconds to play. Garrett Maiden will attempt the point after touchdown. High snap, ball loose, picked up by Maiden. Looks to throw, but it's gonna fall incomplete, so the conversion attempt fails. Eighteen seconds to play in the game. The Buckeyes leading River Valley 46 to six. Garrett Maiden will Kick it away. <laughs> Garrett Maiden with the approach and the kick. A low liner up the field, a little squib kick. Up man trying to pick it up does so at the 17 yard line. And he's on the move for the Raiders. Nice return for River Valley as he'll take it all the way out to the 47 yard line. I believe that was Cole Young on that return for the Raiders. I think he's just a freshman for River Valley. Nice return, takes it out to the 46 yard line. Raiders first and 10, but just 8.3 seconds to play. And the Buckeyes leading by 40. Clock is running. And that's going to do it. Here at River Valley, Nelsonville, York <laughs> defeats the Raiders by a final score of 46 to 6.
So the Buckeyes now two and two overall in the season, one and zero in the Ohio division of the TVC. The Raiders drop to three and one overall and zero and one in league play. And again, with that victory, Buckeyes are now the first team in the Tri Valley Conference to win 200 league games. Buckeyes now all time 200 wins, 61 losses, three ties. Running through some stats from tonight's game. I'll start with the River Valley Raiders. Carrying the ball, Jacob Campbell, number 21, had seven carries for seven yards. And Lane Fitch had one carry for three yards. Through the air, Patrick Brown was 14 of 23 with 184 yards and a touchdown. Receiving the ball tonight was Lane Fitch. Nine receptions for 67, 67 yards. Jared McCarley, three receptions for 65 yards. Trey Craycraft had two receptions for 45 yards, and Jacob Dovenberger had three receptions for 17 yards. And for the Buckeyes, starting with the rushing yards, Alex Mount had 11 carries for 215 yards and two touchdowns. Noah Andrews had seven carries for 28 yards. Hunter Edwards had eight carries for 36 yards. Keegan Wilburn had five carries for 17 yards. Wyatt Wilson had one carry for two yards. Bryce Parker Lent had two carries for five yards. Corbin Kepler had two carries for eight yards. And Logan Bruce had two carries for six yards. Through the air for the Buckeyes, Hunter Edwards was five of 10 passing for 155 yards and two touchdowns. Garrett Maiden was one of one passing for 10 yards. And Mikey Siegel was two of three passing for 16 yards and a touchdown. Receiving the ball for the Buckeyes, Noah Andrews, one reception for 12 yards. Garrett Maiden, one reception for seven yards. Chris Cook with one reception for 70 yards and a touchdown. Ronnie Wynn with one reception for 46 yards. Levi Wigman with ten, one reception for 10 yards. Keegan Wilburn with two receptions for 28 yards and a touchdown. And Wyatt Wilson with one reception for eight yards and a touchdown. The Buckeye defense, I have him recorded for six, six sacks, one interception, and one fumble return for a touchdown. Once again, the Buckeyes now two and two overall, one and zero in the Ohio division of the TVC, and River Valley drops to three and one overall, and zero and one in league play. Also, congratulations to head coach Rusty Richards, coaching his first league game for the Buckeyes, and he gets the win. And also next week again, Nelsonville York will travel to Logan to take on the Logan Chieftains, and we want to try to emphasize to everybody out there and remind you that that 
kickoff is at 7 o'clock next Friday night at Logan. Not 7.30, but that will kick off at 7 o'clock at Logan. And that is with this win tonight. That was 200 league wins for the Buckeyes. Another milestone, the first team in the Tri-Valley Conference. The Buckeyes are to win their 200th game. And again, next week, River Valley, we mentioned Buckeyes will play at Logan at seven o'clock next Friday night. River Valley will travel to Megs. Once again, the final score here at River Valley Stadium at River Valley High School in Bidwell, Ohio, with the Nelsonville York Buckeyes 46 and the River Valley Raiders six. For Nathan Fox on camera and Amanda Dalton, this is Jim McCumber saying, so long everybody. <laughs>